All right, I'm up at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I know it's awful early, but my sleep gets broken up anyway. And uh, it's an old person thing. And I figured as long as I'm up, and uh, might as well do something productive. So I've been putting these uh, wires on the uh, main uh, armature wire for the uh, society staff. And these are several different staffs. That uh, This is from the, the book Mystic Warriors of the Plains by Norman Mails. A great reference book for uh, anything to do with Native Americans, uh, different tribes and stuff like that. Now this is a uh, Lakota leader flag. This is a crow... Uh, Feathered acoustic. This is a typical acoustic. And this is a society staff. But uh, this is probably what I'm going to be doing right here, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing with it and uh, going by my reference materials, which are numerous. Time to play with some clay. All right, several hours later, I I worked for a couple hours this morning after, after I woke up during the middle of the morning and worked for a couple hours on this and uh, went back to bed, slept for three more hours and got up and spent a few more hours doing this. Uh, each one of these have to be pinched onto this uh, rod or the armature and uh, it just takes forever because you got to have no room at the top of the loop between the uh, bar and the uh, loop or else it'll be uneven in the clay so I had to make sure all of them are right and uh, so when I get ready to do the feathers I'll have to evenly space all these little armatures for each feather and uh, that way uh, I can add the feathers and work out the uh, design on the uh, clay. So anyway, that's how far I am this morning and this afternoon I'm going to be going down and working on the clay and probably going to start working on the face at some point, either today or tomorrow. All right, be right back, or at least another couple hours. All right, several hours later and I'm down here in my studio. It's windy outside and the wind chill is supposed to get down to minus 45 tonight. And uh, we're under a wind chill advisory for a couple of days now. Whew. It is winter. The worst winter I remember here in Montana was back in 91. I had my son with me uh, that winter and uh, he was going to school here locally and we lived on a mountainside and we had to travel down the mountain to get to the school bus stop which was uh, probably about six miles from the house I lived in and we had to do that every weekday and it was I think it was with the wind chill it was 80 somewhat below zero. And let me tell you, that changes your outlook on life when it gets that cold. But that was a once in a hundred year temperature. And uh, this is getting close to it. I'm just glad I got my car inside my garage here. So I don't have to uh, have it plugged in. But I ain't going to go for any long walks for the next couple of days. I'll tell you that for sure. Whoop. Knocked his nose off. 
this is the size of a face where even molecules of clay are just moved around where your patience really has to come into play and patience is the key to everything. Sure hope my camera's in focus. Well, this is taking a long time. Just adjusting the neck and the face to where it starts looking like it's human. I'm not certain, but I think the camera was focusing on the background and wasn't focusing on his head. And I put a piece of paper behind this uh, small head. And uh, I don't know if that's too distracting or not, but at least I believe it's now focusing on the face. But then again, it may have been focusing on the face all along. I don't know. I look in my video on my camera or my iPhone to see how the picture is framed but I can't see if it's focused or not and it looked like it might have been just slightly out of focus I hope it wasn't I'm just trying to improve the view for you guys
Oh, I kind of like that. I'm going to quit for now. I got this, the face started, but I got to come back with fresh eyes tomorrow. My face, my eyes are starting to go blurry on me. I mean, when you're working this small, it's really a strain. And uh, I'm liking the way the face is going, but I think I need to get away from it now for 12 hours or so, or 24 hours, and just come back and look at it tomorrow with fresh eyes. And uh, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. All right, everybody. Have a great night. And uh, see you manana. I might be able to finish this face up. And then I can start thinking about the war bonnet. All right. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.